Look, you asked me how to make content. And your problem, you've already figured it out that you need to make content, right? You already established that. But your problem is how to start making content. So you've understood that making content or creating a channel about your hobby, about what you want to do, is going to let you do that and live off of it eventually. Make money and therefore sustain what you want to actually do. You've understood that if you are a painter and you make content about painting, then eventually you will reap the benefits of being in a community with people that also like painting and you will be able to connect with people. Social media, the internet is basically nothing more than a platform where if you share your ideas and your thoughts, eventually you will meet the people that are destined for you. It is nothing more than making an advertisement for yourself. It is free advertisement for yourself. You're creating a community. Even if your community is only like 40 people big, it is still 40 people that are interested in you and in what you have to say. And maybe half of them are your close friends, but maybe the other half are people that are interested in what you have to say and together you can achieve your goals easier. So how do you start doing content? Well, the obvious answer is just upload whatever it is, but that would be too easy. You wouldn't be listening to this if you already knew how. You'd probably listen to other YouTube videos from other people and they gave you some sort of tips about how to start but then you try and you don't do it. So first of all, one of my good friends, one of my good friends, he thought about making drone videos, just like myself. I bought a drone, a DJI Mavic Mini, and I watched those cold videos on the internet. The creator, Cold, K-O-L-D, and he did all those crazy transitions and those videos where he is at a beach and going down the mountain and whatever and he films that and then he uploads loads, uploads it brain fart and he uploads it and he edits it and people watch it and you're like oh shit i want to do that i mean i'm i gotta get paid to travel you know all the benefits right you're gonna get paid to travel to make promo videos for awesome locations and you're gonna get paid money to basically live your dream. If your dream is to edit those videos and create that kind of art, that's awesome, right? But you can also fill in everything else that you want. If you are excited about Pokemon cards, you can make a living just uploading your authentic content. So what is the key? Well, my friend and I, myself, we both bought a drone and we started filming. And then we started editing the videos. And soon we realized that, well, one or two weeks have passed and we didn't upload anything. We uploaded maybe one video. It took us, we were super excited, right? We started new and we get that sweet, sweet dopamine hit. And you're like, oh shit, yeah, I just made that super awesome video. Let's go home and edit it. And you sit down and you drink your coffee or whatever you need to focus. And then you edit the video and you upload it eventually and it took you i don't know two three hours to film it to get all those edits the specs in your new camera uh, your new camera your new drone just arrived and you're super excited and you edit the video you upload it okay so now two three weeks have passed have you uploaded anything else no you haven't why not well the the answer is pretty simple you don't get the same dopamine kick the same drive to edit like you did before because it's not new you now figured out how to do it and now what's left is work now what is left is just doing and doing is hard because doing is work so the key that most people and i myself and my friend over there missed is that if you don't enjoy the process you will not do it and it sounds obvious, yeah, but then again, duh, why do you do it? Why did you start something that you're not, I don't know, burning for? Why did you start something 
that is not your absolute passion that you don't enjoy? Well, one qu one answer would be, well, you didn't know better, right? You Maybe you didn't know. But now you've listened to this video and I made you realize that is the reason. So there's no reason to keep doing those mistakes, is it? So there, there's no... The problem is this. You saw the end product on the internet and you're like, oh yeah, I want to be that awesome guy that flies drones. But, but you are not. You're not that guy. You, you, you're not even interested in it. You don't want to edit it. You just want to upload it and reap the rewards. You just want to be the awesome guy that does the drone shots. But if that is not your passion, do you enjoy flying the drone? Maybe. But do you like editing it? Maybe not. You need to understand the, the product of uploading videos. You really need to firstly enjoy editing the videos. And then you need to enjoy filming the videos. And that's the basic, that's the bread and butter of your business, how you create your community. And if that process does not excite you, then it is, it's not the right thing for you. Because if you don't enjoy the process, you will never create so much to be better and then therefore reap the rewards because it would take time. You need to basically film and edit almost every single day for the next, I don't know, four or five or six or seven years before you really get any benefit of it. It's a long-term investment, but it's one of the best. It is one of the best investments in yourself because eventually you will have a following, a community of people that think like you. And community is like one of the most important things. Imagine you had all the money in the world. You don't need any more money. What, what would you do? Wouldn't you want to try to meet up with people that think like you, that act like you, that, that where you can create something meaningful with those people? I sure would. I sure want to do that, right? That's what I'm trying to do right now. People that think like me, like my younger self or my friend, or, you know, I want to, I want to, have a community with people. So think about, did you buy your drone and edit the videos because you really want to be a drone pilot and a video editor? Or did you buy it because you thought it would be cool to be some sort of YouTuber? Maybe this is just not your thing. So think about, is, is it your thing? And you could use any different example. You d it doesn't need to be drones. It could be, I don't know, um, breeding pit bulls, okay? Maybe you thought about it because, well, one of my friends, he has a pit bull. And it's a beautiful dog. He bought it for like, I don't know, three or 4,000 euros. So if he breeds that dog, he could easily sell the puppies for two or three K, two or 3,000. And he could make a lot of money. But then again, do you really like breeding? Do you really like teaching the dogs, doing all the paperwork? Is that something you're passionate about? Or just do you just see the money? If you see the money, you will never, ever do it for four, five, six years. But the benefit of uploading videos, let's take that for example. If you are a breeder, a dog breeder, and you love breeding dogs, you could make more money by uploading videos about your dogs, how you raise them, how they look. Oh, look at my new puppy, look here. Oh. You just show your perspective. All you do with your camera is point the camera at what you are looking at and just talk. That is content. Do it for four or five years, upload, and try to optimize every video that you upload. And eventually you will find a community of people that love your dogs and your dogs will even go up in price because it's not only just a breeding, it's not just a, a, a beautiful dog. It is a beautiful dog made by you, by your brand, by what makes you unique. But you will never reach that if you don't enjoy the process. So if you can just take one thing away from this video, if you've made it that far, you need to figure out what am I willing to do for the next four or five years without money, without getting money? Because the reward is community. The reward is improving your life. The reward is making more money. There's, a, there's endless rewards in building something where other people enjoy it. But you need to enjoy it the most. It must be your thing. And if you're just doing it because you some, saw someone else do it and you just like the end result of it, 
then it's not your thing. I'm so sorry, but it is not. So what you need to figure out is what am I willing to do every single day for the next years without reward. And when I say without reward, you should be able to get a reward by just doing it, by just sharing it. You're not doing it for someone else. So for me personally, editing videos, like doing drone shots and then cutting it together, I don't really enjoy the cutting process. I'm so sorry, but I can't. I would really love to do it. I would really love to enjoy it, but I just can't. So it's not for me, okay? If you like playing the guitar because you saw someone play the guitar once and you're like, oh man, this guy, he makes a lot of money playing the guitar and everyone loves the guy playing the guitar and it would be so an awesome hobby to be able to play the guitar. I thought about that. I learned playing the, the best guitar and the, um, the drums, but I quit because I don't, I don't wake up in the morning and think about it. I don't wake up in the morning and I'm like, yeah, let's do that. But you know what I think about in the morning? You know what I think about before going to sleep? Going to the gym. I go to the bed and when I close my eyes, I'm thinking about, oh man, tomorrow is back day. I love back day. What am I gonna do? Oh, what, what kind of vertical pull am I gonna do? What kind of horizontal pull am I gonna do? Am I gonna incorporate some, some ab workout? I'm really excited. I think about, oh yeah, I need to eat like two hours before two hours before going to the gym, because then your body digests the food and you have the most energy and then I can, my, my, my favorite thing about the day is going to the gym. All I do is wait to go to the gym. All I do is eat to go to the gym. I sleep to go to the gym. I love going to the gym. It's the best thing ever. You, you feel that? I love it. I take my friends there, I have community, I go inside, I'm a trainer there and I train privately. So I'm like, oh yeah, I know everybody. I'm like, oh yeah, everyone's like, hey, what's up, bro? I'm like, hey, what's up? What are you doing today? I love it, it's community. Community is the most important thing, friendship and focusing, creating a brotherhood and focusing on the same goals. We're all achieving the same goals, we're all working out, we all have the same struggles kind of and we can relate to one another. This is something I love. And if you want to create content about something that you love, it's going to be so much easier because you got uh, like I, I try to make those edits, those those drone shots. I try to code to program. Right. I, I tried different hobbies. I had literally so many different stuff that I started, but I could never finish it because I always did it with the intention of, oh, yeah, I could be an influencer. I could create something about it. That's not the that, that's not that's it won't work because you don't enjoy the process. So if you've been going to the gym for four years and you're like, mm, what should I create? I know that I should create something on the internet, create community, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you go to the gym for four years, there you have it. You don't need to be a pro. All you need to understand is you make content for someone that is either on the same journey, they could even be better than you, but they like the way you talk about things. Or it could be for people that are following in your footsteps. If, when I coach people in the gym, I coach people that just started. I've specialized on people that have just started going to the gym. And the most important thing for those people is continue to go to the gym, have fun in the gym. That's the most important thing. And I do that with different models with like creating community, creating a fun workout. You don't have to have the perfect workout because the most important thing is to go to the, to the gym like two or four or six times a week, whatever you choose. But going to the gym consistently every week, that's the most important thing for me, for my clients. So that's what I focus on. You need to focus on what is it that you enjoy, okay? And if you, for example, went to the gym for the last four years, well, take out the phone and just start recording. I don't care about what people think, just, just post the videos and you will find people. Your first couple of videos, your first 10 videos will maybe suck, but who cares? Because you're not doing it for the views, you're doing it because it's fun, because you like sharing it, because once you're home, you like sharing the video with your friends, because you enjoy, because all your friends are also gym buddies. So you do the videos for them, you do funny skits, you do whatever you like. Your personality can shine on its own way through your work, but it's important to create something that you really enjoy because then you can go on for hours and hours and hours. But if you're just doing it for, 
for the views, for the money, then you will never do it for four years. You need to really enjoy the process. And if maybe video editing is not for you, maybe it, it might be photography, maybe it, it's a different kind of communication, maybe it'd be podcasts, whatever. Maybe you just enjoy talking about the gym all the time, right? So my, my appeal to you, my please, please sit down, take a piece of paper, write down what is it that I do? What is it that you did for the last four years? And if you probably did something, what is it that you consume the most? Do you consume gym content? Do you consume content about, I don't know, uh, gardening? Well, maybe that's your niche. Then maybe, maybe that's the thing that you love talking about, right? What is your biggest hobby? What, what can you not shut the, what can you not keep your mouth shut about? What is it that you could just keep on talking and talking and talking and talking? What is it? Everything I just said, it's one long video. I don't cut that very much because it's just my thoughts. That is your unique selling point. Figure out what you love talking about, what you really enjoy, and then you can just keep on talking for hours. And then every time you turn on the video, you're at the gym, you're working out. So that's enough. You don't need to be the best. You just need to share your passion. It is not always educational. It might sometimes just be entertaining. Maybe by you posting that you did your lunch, your protein high lunch, maybe some other guy out there, just one person in the world will look at that video and think, oh yeah, I should probably cook something healthy today. And he will do one healthy habit at that day. And so you improve the life of someone else by just leading by example. Okay, my friend? So as always, you know what it is. You go to the gym because that's important. And then you go home and you do whatever kind of hobby you enjoy. You need to really immerse yourself in what you really want to do. What is it that you love and enjoy? And just take out your phone and record it. Show the world what you see. Talk like you think and just be authentic. It all, it's all it takes and just continue doing it because it will be easy. Why? Because you really enjoy it. If it's hard, it's probably the wrong thing. 